Hello and dwarves, welcome to Let's Fix Computers. Uh, sorry if the audio is a bit crap in this video. I Something's happened to my microphone and my, v my audio meters look really unhealthy. So I think the audio is a bit crap, but I kinda, I wanna get this video recorded and there's only one way to find out. So um, if the audio is totally shagged, then this will all be on voiceover. Um, and in which case my, uh, my mouth will be completely disjointed from what you hear for the rest of the video. So let's see how that goes. Anyway, I've got a MacBook Pro here today. Uh, this is a mail order repair, which I don't do very often. However, this should be uh, just a simple backlight issue um, where uh, the uh, client was fixing this computer for someone else and something's happened to the laptop uh, and the backlight no longer works. So my guess is that um, the ba he left the battery connected while he changed the screen, um, which is uh, when you get unlucky, you can damage something with that. And you know, I've made this mistake before um, and nine times out of 10, you get away with it, but it can go wrong. So I, my guess is that's what's gone on. Um, well, I can see some rust around that area, so that might be a problem as well. Might have had some liquid damage. Anyway, uh, we're gonna uh, we're gonna see if we can get this working. So the first thing we need to do is have a closer look and confirm uh, the diagnosis. So let's just go in close on this area, and I think the backlight fuse is on this side of the board, but I could be wrong. We might have to flip it over to find that. I think we'll probably have to take the board out to actually check on it. Hmm, okay. Right, let's unplug all of this. Here comes the fast forwardy bit. Right, well, that logic board looks fairly honest. Right, we're gonna clear up this area so we can get access to the other side of the backlight circuit. So I'm just gonna pull these parts off. Oh, I'm an idiot. There's the backlight fuse. Oh well. We did have to take, uh, it's still better to take the logic board out to you do that. No matter. I wasn't looking very hard there, was I? Oh well. Right, what's the status of that backlight fuse? In we go. Yeah, that fuse looks pretty blown to me. Is it shorted to ground? Ground test. Nope, it's not shorted to ground. So this looks like a pretty open and shut case of just a dead ba uh, backlight fuse. So that's hunky-dory for me. Um, so the most likely th reason why this happened is that um, the display was removed uh, while the battery was connected, um, which is something that is, it's a very, very easy mistake to make. I have done it a lot in the past and I've actually learned from that mistake um, because for a long time I thought, you know, oh, you know, you've got to be super unlucky for anything to happen. It's like, well, no, it can happen because the issue is, is that the backlight circuit has power to it even when the laptop is off, just while the battery is connected which means that it is quite easy for stuff to go wrong there. So, you know, let, we live and learn. Uh, basically, I've made mistakes with that in the past, um, and it looks like that's exactly what's happened here. Thankfully, nothing turbo bad has happened. We've just got a bad fuse. So let's take that fuse off the board, and we'll get another one out. So I've got the hot air on. We're on, um, we're on reasonably high heat, 430 degrees, uh, but low air flow because uh, we don't want to blow everything away. And I'm just going to 
blow around the general area of the board just to preheat it, just so we don't belt everything with a crap ton of heat while it's all cold. So I'm just putting a little bit of warmth into the board just so we don't shock it. And then we'll focus on that fuse and get it off the board. Okay, that should do. There we go. And theoretically, you can do this with just a um, you can do this with just a soldering iron. You will need a precision soldering iron, though. A standard hobby soldering iron. I mean, you could do it, but you're probably going to have a bad time. And that's the thing is just, you know, the chap who sent this board into me, he knew exactly what was wrong with it and he had diagnosed it himself as well. He said he checked the backlight fuse and found that it was not working. Um, but he was like, I don't have soldering equipment and I don't have time to buy soldering equipment and do this myself. So he sent it to me, which is fair enough. Right, let's get a new fuse. Okay, and I'm gonna put a little bit of flux on there just to help the new fuse flow into place a bit better. Also just helps stick it in place while you use the hot air because the hot air will try and blow things around even if you've got the airflow turned down. So sometimes just a bit of flux just serves as a, a temporary glue. Okay, here comes the new fuse. Oh, less airflow. I'm struggling to keep it in place. Turn that down. Come on. Whoa. Easy, tiger. That'll do it. I'm just going to let that cool off for a sec. And we'll make sure we've got some continuity. Then I'm just going to touch it up with the soldering iron just to make sure we've got some better connections. So, are we still good? Yeah, we're still good. So, now we'll put some power into the soldering iron and I'm just going to touch up both sides just to make sure that that's got a nice solid connection to the board so it doesn't just, you know, drop off after a heat cycle or something like that. There we go, that's all it needs. Just a bit of a nudge on each side. Okay, let's drop this board back into the laptop and when we turn it on we should find that we've got a backlight again. I had to look around for where the camera was for a moment then. Whoop.
Okay, right, I think we're good to go. I haven't committed to putting all the screws into the logic board quite yet, just in case there's an issue. I have plugged everything in though, so in goes the battery. Let's check if we've got a backlight. And yep, we've got charge in it. And our survey says, fan spin, chime, and that is a backlight, it's just a very dim one. We're not going to be able to turn the brightness up until we get into an operating system though. However, you should see a flashing question mark in just a moment. Yeah, there we go. One flashing question mark folder. Right. Um, I'm going to do an SMC reset on this just to see if we can get a bright backlight because I know that dim backlight is a thing and I don't want to get caught out by that. So um, let's, what we'll do, let's turn this off. Because this is a mail order, I don't have the hard drive for it. And um, because I'm not accustomed to doing this, I don't have just a spare drive with MacOS set up on it. And the MacOS install drive doesn't always allow you to do this. So let's put the back cover off and I'm going to command option PR. Wait for two chimes. That's one chime. That's two chimes and that's a bright backlight. Yeah, look at that. We're all done here. So I'll put the screws into the logic board, then we'll put all the screws in the bottom, and then we're done. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.